Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on the Wreath Network on TryHackMe. Today we're going to be going over Task 23, Command and Control, Empire Installation. Starkiller and Empire via Docker are both already installed on the TryHackMe attack box, so if you're not using your own machine, then you can skip this task. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through this since I am using my own Kali box, um, and this is something that's just good to have installed. Very nice for uh, doing CTFs and just setting up persistent access in this way. That said, if we're using our own VM, then we need to install both Empire and Starkiller before we use them. Ultimately, it's up to you which we use. Both will be covered in the task. Regardless, we need to install at least Empire. Note, it is now possible to install Empire via the Kali apt repositories. You're welcome to do this. However, uh, it will make some of the upcoming tasks harder as you get less control over the installation. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do the recommended um, installation via uh, what uh, Mir has in this. And I'm just going to do that in this tab. So we'll do sudo su to make sure I'm running his root. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we can go ahead and it is con uh, continue on with the task. It is conventional to install tools into the slash opt directory. However, you could install it wherever you wish. I'm going to do that just because slash opt is conventional. Highly, highly recommend just putting it in there. That's a good habit to have so you know where everything's installed rather than just anywhere in the system. So we can see that uh, I've moved to the opt directory and we can go ahead and start running these commands. First, we're gonna go ahead and do the git clone of the empire repository. Go ahead and paste that in. And then we can go ahead and onto the next ones manually, make it nice and easy. This is pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this as it installs. It looks like it is gonna take a moment. And when we're back, I'll go ahead and continue. And we're back. Let's go ahead and CD into Empire and not just press space while you're still clicking on the, while you're still in uh, Firefox. Uh, let's go ahead and CD Empire um, and then set up and then install to SH. We'll go ahead and let that run. So we can see that this is going to go ahead and install some prerequisites for running Empire. Uh, just before the end of the setup, it will ask you to enter a server negotiation password. Pick a password and remember it, then press enter. Um, I am just going to use subscribe in my case, just for my default uh, install here. This is a machine I'm specifically only using for Wreath, so just keep that in mind. I do recommend um, save this in LastPass or whatever password manager you use, just because it's a good thing to have saved. Um, I recommend making sure that this is a strong password, of course, fairly straightforward. While this installs, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and I will unpause it once we are all done. All right, we're back. Uh, interestingly enough, it did not ask me for a password, so it probably just randomly generated one by default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch Empire, though. So we can do that by doing period forward slash Empire just to run the binary there. And we can see that it's loaded up with that lovely image of a uh, Stormtrooper. And we can see we've got Empire all loaded. Uh, note that there can be sometimes be an error in the installation, which is caused by the database not being correctly installed. Uh, if this happens to you, you can just run the sudo uh, or setup uh, forward slash reset dot sh from the empire directory and then try to start empire again. And you can see an instance of that error there. If you would prefer to stick to with a, uh, the CLI for empire, then feel free to skip this section. Otherwise, exit out of empire and let's install Starkiller. Um, I'm going to install Starkiller because it is awesome, and I highly recommend doing so as well. Having the GUI is very nice. Uh, this is one of the instances where having a GUI is just kind of nicer than using a CLI. Uh, we can go ahead and install that uh, pretty easily with um, sudo apt install Starkiller. Uh, this used to be manual. I think it was just an apt image beforehand, but this is far, far nicer now. So we can do that. Starkiller... And then press enter and we'll go ahead and let that install from inside the empire directory we installed before run the following command sudo forward slash uh, period forward slash empire dash dash headless and then ampersand to background it this starts empire in headless mode starkiller is an electron app which works by connecting to the rest api exposed by empire when started with the dash dash rest or the dash dash headless option set uh, let's go ahead and start Empire real quick. So we'll do clear the screen, Empire um, dash dash headless. And again, I don't need sudo because I'm running this as root and we can see that it is going to launch. And there we go. Uh, we can just press enter 
Uh, once it's all done starting, it'll probably give us a few more pop-ups. So in other words, Empire must be running with one of these options set if we want to use Starkiller. Uh, typically, Headless is the one you're going to use in this case. As the Headless server is backgrounded, we are free to start Starkiller. Uh, let's see. I think I've got this cut off a little bit. I would imagine we do this just by running, I would guess, Starkiller. And there we go. We can see that it go ahead and or it launches it pretty quickly. So first here we need to sign in to the REST API we deployed previously. By default, this runs on HTTPS uh, localhost 1337 with a username uh, username of Empire Admin and a password of password 123. We do this with HTTPS and then localhost 1337 and then Empire Admin and then password one two three i'm gonna have it remember my url or url and username to make things easy uh defaults are okay for this since this is a practice of however i do still recommend changing this especially if this is on your cali production box that you use for pen testing or things like that uh install and execute uh empire slash killer we can see that this has gone ahead and started up so we're all done with this task and we can mark it as completed and then i will see you guys next time in task 24 but until then happy hacking